Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Coffee Run Live. It is the very late edition today because we had a jiggler coffee date, which you may or may not have seen over on my personal profile where Joe and I, so Joe Muirhead of Joe Muirhead fame, and I were just jabbering about stuff and we had some friends some new friends come and join us it was really lovely to chat with Sharon and Valerie thanks for coming and hanging out um we will probably do it again next week because it was so much fun but we don't know when so if you are around and you want to come and join us then you'll see the the post go up in here you'll you see the zoom link come in and chat and just see what kind of happens so I don't have anything prepped for you today. And I was kind of like looking around going like, oh my God, what am I gonna talk about? And I just figured, well, you know, put your money where your mouth is, Nicola, and press go and you'll know exactly what to say. And I think one of the things that I, hey, hey everyone, as you're coming in, let me know that you can hear me. That'd be great. I'm doing this in a slightly different way today. Um, and maybe let me know where you are. Let me know if you are self-isolating, if you, need a pep up. I don't know. Let me know what's going on. Um, one of the things that I think is really important is to kind of trust your intuition. So I've been at the hairdressers today. You may notice that I have eliminated my black roots. Uh, who knows how long that will last for because, you know, hashtag Corona. Um, but I was chatting with my hairdresser today and I've been chatting with Joe and, and some of you as well, just around some synchronicities that have kind of happened. And I think this is the thing that happens when we really trust our intuition and we come back to, to self and we come back to really being grounded. The thing that happens is you start making choices and decisions that you might not always understand or appreciate the gravity of at the time. And I think what's interesting about this is that there's been some choices and decisions that I've made in the last six months that have um, apparently paid off, you know, over of, of late. And I know Joe said that has said the same thing with some of the things that that would usually and, and opportunities that both for her and I that would offer. Right? It's like, well, that's not fair. You know, I want this to happen or I wanted this to happen. And then, you know, this does, this thing didn't happen. And so my husband's trying to call me. Sorry, let me just send him a quick message and let him know that I'm on here. On a live, babe. We'll call you back shortly. So the... Um, one of the things that we that I has been a guiding decision and a guiding and a guiding force of mine as at the start of I really laid this down at the start of 2018 where I was like you know what if I am if I am not having fun I am not going to fucking do it right just not doing it Belinda near Wyndham oh golly with pneumonia, not corona, looking at buying a pig and homeschooling kids. Three kids send wine and inspiration. All right, well, hopefully this will help you. So often what happens, right, is that we will um, we'll second guess ourselves, right? And we might go, oh, look, I think I should do this. Logically, this tells me this. And logically, this tells me that. And, and so on and so forth. But the thing that I always want you to come back to is, like, well, what am I feeling called to do. So the other day I decided to just, you know, say, Hey, come and join, come and hang out with me on zoom. Ask me questions. If you want, there's, there's no holds barred. Like I don't, I don't, you can ask me anything, anything at all. You could ask me about these brackets or the curtains I've just put up on my windows. I actually, I, that's not true. I didn't put them up. The man from spotlight put them up. Um, you might ask me about marketing. You might ask me about sales. You could ask me about freaking anything. Like the, the thing is that you, I, I, I really just wanted to go, you know what, in, in a, in a, in a world. And I wish I had, I wish I'd done it sooner. Right. This is the kicker. So in a world where we're feeling super disconnected, I thought, right, well, you know, what can I do just to freaking help? You know, how can, I, how can I help? And not even necessarily in a, let me give you some business advice help, but you know, how can I just help? And so I've just gone, well, fuck it. Let's just make this happen. It takes literally three seconds maybe five. So maybe not three, maybe five. Hey, Lizzie, you're getting a full Nicola infusion while you're waiting in ED. Um, it, it took all of five seconds to schedule a Zoom meeting and share it with you guys and say, hey, come on and let's just chat. Let's just talk about things, 
right? Let's just see what comes up. And if you want to come and have coffee, that'd be really great. If you want to stalk on Facebook, that's totally cool too, whatever you want. And it was just like a literal bang, you know, let's go do this. Uh, Joe and I then decided to do a joint one because I love Joe. We, we speak every day. You, you all probably know that. Um, if you want the history, the, the, the eons old history, then you can go and watch the, uh, the replay of the, the Jikola coffee that we just did um, that started at 12. And the, um, the thing that, that I was thinking about, though, is that, you know, how can, we, how can we create more connection? How can we have more fun? And you know what? When you are, and, and we're going to flick this to business because it's, you know, that's, I'm, I'm about growing you, growing opportunities and, and growing yourselves and growing your businesses, even in times like, even in times like these, the, the thing is, is like, you know what, if you can just do something because it's, it's nice and it's a good thing to do. And if it feels right and you're feeling called to do it, then go do it. Um, I watched a friend of mine, beautiful friends of mine, Nick Hansinger and Kiz Morobovich. We saw it. Nick went live yesterday sharing. He was cooking in the kitchen. He's an energy healer and and, and, a, and a fucking magician, let's just be honest. And he's really amazing. I was like, oh, my God, I'm making – I got into the kitchen. My son's been making pizza dough. And, I, and the last time I talked about making cauliflower pizza – I had a bunch of people asking me for the recipe. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just, you know, inspired by Nick, I'll do a live from the kitchen and just completely unplanned, but really led from that place of fun. Joe messaged me after getting off this and she said, that was so cool, the live that we just did combined. And I think this is the thing that, that sometimes you might feel well, like, and, and this is in, in, in normal, like in normal times, right? Not, not necessarily in Corona the heightened corona states. In normal times, people would think, oh, well, I can't do that because it's about positioning. I don't want to be too available. I don't want to give all my stuff away for free. I don't want to do this. You know, I can't talk to people. They've got to fill out a fucking form. And and I've been one of those people. You know, I I I was that I was definitely that person in 2013, 2014, where I was like, you know what, I don't have I but at that time I was also dialing 80 people a day, 80 phone numbers a day to talk to 40 people a day to make a sale a day at six thousand dollars, you know, doing 30 grand in sales a week was personally, which was really great, had big team, had big business, had big delivery, you know, all of that. It was like I I can't afford the time to 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 throw open the hatches or open the doors and just talk to all, you know, anybody and, and, and all people. So these days though, I'm like, I don't do business that way. Fuck that shit. You know how there's like boundaries around what you'll do and what you don't do and, and what you're willing to do and what you're unwilling to do. I'm, I'm I, you can't pay me enough money to, to make money in that way. There's just no freaking way. So really led through, through intuition and having fun and things like that. But what I really love is and what you'll experience if you are if you're at a place where you're like all right well I don't know how I'm going to be able to monetize this I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this I don't know how you know how does this even feed into my business and yada 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 the thing that you're doing all the time is you're building personal brand I've just written an article actually for Yahoo Finance on on how to build your personal brand and why it's really important and the thing that, you, that you've really got to do is you've got to let people in. You know, you've got to let people know a bit about who you are and, and what you're about and, and things like that. And I'm a firm believer and a massive advocate. Uh, some people might call it oversharing. Uh, I'm, I'm an open book. Right. If if you ask me a question, I'll I'll usually answer it. The the depth of the answer might vary depending on what level of client you're at and things like that. Or if you're not a client, but primarily, I'm just like you know, just don't hold back, you guys. Do the things, and if you're feeling called to to do something and and share something, then get out there and do it. So this is a big shout out to you to say just trust in you trust in your message. You still need to, to have a consistent message, but you've really got to still go and get out there and trust that it's helping people to get to know you in time. Like your, people's true colors, your true colors are shown in times like these, right? And we don't know how long it will last. We were chatting with, with Valerie and Sharon uh, on Zoom today as we were having coffee. They were they were the two brave souls that decided to log in and, and jump on Zoom with us. 
And uh, one of them actually, I haven't read the full message. I think Valerie said, thanks for that. I don't know how I got in, but you know, she got in. So it was awesome. Um, but the thing is your true colors are shown in, in, in times like this. And so if you're coming in and if you're like, you know, how can I help you? How can I be of service? And that helps to build your personal brand. Think about your audience. What are they going through? What are they feeling? What are they experiencing? Are they feeling like they're in lockdown? You know, for me, this level of isolation actually feels really normal, right? And some might say that's a bit unhealthy, um, but it's, you know, this is, I, I work from home. I go out to drop my kids at school and pick them up. If I'm doing the school run, if I'm not, I'm home all day. I don't generally, I might go out for, for coffee once a fortnight with, with clients, but typically I, I'm, I tend to be at home, but I know for a lot of you, this is a really abnormal experience and it's not normal for you. And so I think that, you know, the more you can create empathy for your audience and for me, it's like, well, how can we just stay fucking connected? You know, how can we create more connection? And we don't have, like here, we don't have, like I've loved seeing those photos where people are going out in the street and social distancing and having a coffee or having a beer or whatever. That's great. Our street's not like that. Um, we're on a main road. There's like, there's no one on this way uh, or a main street. There's no one on this way. And, um, you know, it's just different down that way. So I guess what I'm saying and where I'm going with this is that there will be times where you might feel like you what you're doing is not important. You might feel like maybe the time's not right. You might feel like, oh, I don't want to go out there and sell today. Then that's fine. But you can still show up. You can still turn up, show up, provide some inspiration. And sometimes, you guys, the inspiration isn't always about, oh, look, you know, and I put the post up. I mean, I can share with you how to repurpose your content. I can show you how to boost your confidence in live streams. I can teach you how to syndicate your shizzle, you know, which are really important things to know and really important things to do. And that's great. But if you think about it, sometimes the inspiration doesn't come from the businessy stuff that people need. Sometimes the inspiration comes because you've just shown up and you've, you're sharing stuff about you or you're having coffee or you're just having a chat and it helps people to get to know you. So you're still contributing to building a personal brand. You're still contributing to building the marketing in your business. Even if you're turning up and you're talking about the dog or how you're uh, de-stressing or how you're helping your children or how you make cauliflower pizza, right? It, it's all helpful. Nicole, I'm in a little place called Bower in South Australia. We have a post box and that's it. Oh, wow. You are isolated and peaceful. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. All right. So, my friends, the call to you is to remember how can you create some fun in your world? How can you share that with your audience? How can you be inspiring? Right, And remember, the inspiration is not necessarily about, I do these things for meditation or I do these things for inspiration. Sometimes it's just letting people know that they're not alone, that the, that the fear, don't let the fear rule, right? Uh, or you can let them know that you're in a place where, you know, fear is, is huge and this is what you're doing to combat it. Uh, it could be some business advice. Like my thing is you, you've got to get out there and video. You've got to get out there and connect. Go and do something, you know, get on fucking camera. This Corona stuff is not going to last forever. And it, it might last, it might be around for a month. It might be around for a couple of months. From what we're looking at, things are going to return back to normal, probably in the short term future, In I hope, in the short term future. So now is not the time to throw all like all of your hands in the air and go, like all two of your hands, you know, hands in the air and go, oh, fuck this, I can't do this and, and whatever. Now is the time for you to, you know, work, work the opportunities. Okay, and you're allowed to do that. There, there's there's nothing to feel bad about. There's nothing to feel guilty about. You can still be empathic to people's situations and still build, grow, and create really great content and grow your positioning. Now is the time to to bunker down and to really do that. Okay, so there you go, and you've got no excuse because we all have time. All right. So, my friends, what are you gonna do? 
That's right. You're going to get out there. You're going to help some people. You're going to have a whole shit ton of fun doing it. And please remember that the world is absolutely ready for your brand of awesomeness. I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I will certainly see you on Monday, if not before. And if you've got any questions, make sure you hit me up. I'd really love to answer them for you. All right, you guys, take care.